When morning has begun, John's borrowed light was drawn from heaven's vibrant rays, his life a witness to the dawn of Christ's approaching place. When temple Levites asked, what idol did John claim? He said he had a single task, a single goal and aim, to redirect their sight beyond what he had done, to Christ the pure and primal light that lightens everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh in splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because of the Lord, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy.
Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this testimony is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you a prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. The third week of Advent already. You know that first week was uh, be alert, be watchful. And then the second week, last week, was about preparation, repentance. Today, the third week, is be joyful and grateful. You know, when I think of how, and, and this is God Day Sunday, and you know when we think of the readings and more they are more about John the Baptist he was changing the people spiritually by baptizing with the spirit of repentance he brought hope and that hope brings joy to everybody who came to him and was baptized you know there are witnesses he is a witness I should say 
to the one who is to come and he said that many times but people were still wondering well who are you people are talking about him in the marketplaces the synagogues small villages and towns wherever there was a group people talked about John and who is he he looks like some wild man that came out of the desert yeah, he looked like a wild man who did come out of the desert, prepared by the Holy Spirit. And, but when he spoke, he spoke with authority. He spoke by God's authority. But who is he? The Levites and the priests were sent to John and to question him. Who are you? Who do you think you are? Do you think you're Elijah? No, he denied that he was Elijah. Do you think you're a prophet? No, I don't think I'm a, I'm a prophet. Well, who are you? And you know, they couldn't really get much more out of him. And then when you think of Herod, his spies are all around wondering who is this John that everybody's flocking to and of course his spies are repor reporting to Herod about everything but the Pharisees want to know who are you and of course John again kind of de deflates them and he realizes that he left them scratching their heads because he really didn't say much more than that so, is he the Messiah? Are you the Messiah? He denied being the Messiah. So the Messiah is yet to come. So there's this great expectation of the people that John is preparing the way. We know something's big is, on, is coming. It has to be. John is, is here is doing the things that a prophet would, would do. John stayed steadfast in his mission, even though he got a lot of people to come to him. He wasn't out for money or power or to be admired or to be complimented. He stayed by himself, prayed, remained holy, and did the work of God. He kept putting his nose to the grindstone. And so he was very successful, blessed by the Lord God to do the things that he was to do. You know, I think, brothers and sisters, the people recognized him as a prophet. And he kept saying, there is one greater than I that are coming. And he will baptize you with the Spirit. I'm just baptizing you with water. That that one who is greater will come. And I think when we think of Advent, we know the coming of the Lord will come soon as we celebrate His birthday and acknowledge Him as Lord and Savior. And we've been preparing ourselves for three weeks, and I continue to encourage you, you know, come to confession if you haven't been to confession. Come to, to church, to Mass during the week. COVID-19 seems to get under everybody's skin. The daily masses, we usually have maybe 40, 50 people. You're not gonna catch COVID dealing you know, with 30 or 40 people because everybody's so scattered out. But know that the Lord blesses you each time and gives you the graces you need to prepare yourselves for Jesus' birthday. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
for our sake. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. That the church may wait, await the Lord's coming with patience and courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have closed their minds to the good news may return to the community of the faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for an end to this coronavirus pandemic and for an end to the civil unrest in some of our cities and towns, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We always pray for an end to abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, and all acts that harm the dignity of the human person, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, especially from the young people of our parish and our families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those on our parish prayer list, that God's healing touch may bring them peace and comfort, especially Robert V. Hill. For him we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deceased family and friends, that they may find a share in the gift and promise of eternal life, especially Carlo LaRossi, Patrick Madrid, Charlie Chacon, Raphael Calvo, Reyes Khan, Candelaria Chavez, Jason Chavez, and Michael Torres. For their souls we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions for which this Holy Mass is being offered is for the repose of the souls of Christopher David Smith, Randall Wellborn, and Jerry Padilla. For their souls we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God the Father of mercies, hear our prayers and petitions. We ask them in faith, and we ask them through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Several announcements. The prayer shawl ministry, once again, is outside. They have more than 120 prayer shawls that they have knitted. Uh, they're for those who are in need of comfort during this time of stress and uncertainty. And or if you'd just like to take one uh, to give as a Christmas gift. The shawls have been crocheted and blessed. Uh, well, not crocheted by Father Leo, but blessed by Father Leo. They will be available at no cost after all the masses. Please take an ornament from the giving tree located in the North X and purchase one or more items listed on the attached tag. All donated gifts will be distributed to our local pro-life crisis pregnancy centers. Please return your unwrapped gift and place it under the tree by January 3rd. Next weekend, December 19th and 20th, the, the Knights of Columbus will be selling Keep Christ in Christmas card magnets for $5 a piece after all masses. And if you've noticed, there is no uh, organist this evening or for any of the masses tomorrow. Um, uh, Lawrence, our organist, our liturgist, uh, has a chest cold, and out of an abundance of caution, we asked him to stay home. You know, last year, there wouldn't be the case, right? Stay home because of the fears of COVID. He's had, had a COVID test this morning. We'll find out tomorrow. Just so you know, we'll be doing our best Anybody who's sick from the staff or, or volunteers in the church, we ask to stay home. Um, we wash all the door handles, the bathrooms, in between and after every mass. And we even have these foggers. We fog the church after every mass or gathering in the church. Uh, we're trying to do our best. 
And we've been praying for all those who have COVID and all those who are susceptible. Um, so please keep them in your prayers. Thank you for your attention. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold in. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace by a wave. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be you. online, 
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for coming feasts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. And those uh,